and welcome back to another week of Maroon Buzz Weekly. I'm Raquel Camarena. It's time for our Student of the Week segment. With me is Mrs. Virgen Lopez Vargas, ELL Social Science and English Language Learners teacher. Please tell us about your student. Hello, this is Araceli. She's part of my introduction to psychology class. The reason I nominated her is because she is a role model student. She is in our dual language program, always on time, on text, always willing to motivate her peers, and also excellent grades and a music talent. This is Araceli. Hey, my name is Araceli Atempa. I'm a sophomore here in Elgin High School. I first wanted to say thank you to Ms. Lopez for nominating me as Student of the Week. I've always loved her class and I always love taking the learning experience she gives me and my classmates. Um, all her assignments and projects have been very amazing, like learning about the brain and motivation. This class has made me realize how much psychology is full of benefits for the future and different career paths. I would honestly suggest for people to be open-minded in new things and always studying, working hard, and always try to follow what you're passionate in. Congratulations, Araceliya Tempa. Great job. This is how we maroon at EHS. Take a look at this week's celebrity lookalike. So who looks like the CoverGirl model? Hmm. It's our very own Mrs. Miranda Kopecki, cross-category special education teacher. Hi, I'm Sam Jones, and I'm here with Coach Mason. The topic of the day is track and field. Coach Mason, could you tell us a little bit more about your track and field team? Well, first off, uh, thank you for having me. Uh, track and field is awesome awesome time and awesome team that we have here at Elgin High School. Uh, this is one of the sports that we have that's just boys. Um, so we have a mission. Our number one mission is to turn young men to elite men, just like football. It's actually a sister of football, a sister of even soccer as well too, and definitely cross country. Um, our second, our motto, our motto is the team. And everybody heard the team acronym before, together everyone achieves more. And then we just have a saying that we're all about the culture and we, we preach culture. We preach doing the right things at all times, being elite, uh, you know, the best version of yourself. You know that, Sam. And that's just what we're about. And I think the biggest thing that for me with the track and field team is the fun, the fun and the bonding that we have and track meets because there are long days in track meets, uh, short practices, long days in, in track meets. And, and you really do build a bond with each other mm -hmm. and with the team and motto. It, uh, it helps a lot. So do you think that you have like a really well-rounded team this year? You know, performance-wise, I'm really interested to see where we're going to go. It's kind of like the football season. Mm -hmm. uh, we had these this awesome 2019 season where we made the playoffs, this awesome COVID season where we were 4-2 and two and had all these D, uh, college athletes, D1 athletes, and we had to rebuild and see where we were at in football season. I think the track season would be similar. So I'm interested to see, you know, who's the fast guys, who is the guys that can run yeah. fast for a long time, who's the guys that jump, who's going to be the newcomers that kind of surprise people. I know we got some transfers in, we got some uh, basketball guys coming. So I'm excited to see what this year brings. But most importantly, it's all about turning a young man to elite man, all about having fun, and then mm -hmm. going out there and being the best version of yourself. All right. Now, one thing you said stood out to me, which was the acronym TEAM. Oh, yeah. Could you elaborate more on that? Yeah, together everyone achieves more. Track and field is uh, is based off of points. So when you compete in matches, whether you're doing uh, dual meets or tri meets with three teams, dual meets is two teams, or conference championships or state championships, it's all about points. Mm -hmm. So together everyone achieves more. That means that you need your distance supporting your sprints, your sprints supporting your throws, 
And this year we're really excited. We're going to end up having a, uh, hopefully we finish it out, we'll have a pole vault coach. So people that's interested in pole vaulting, a very unique event in track and field that a lot of teams can't fill because they don't have a good coach. We'll have a coach this year and uh, be able to, you know, compete in that. Last year, last year we were second in conference. We were about 10 points away from South Elgin uh, and we were really close. We had a lot of talent last year. So we're looking to build on that and make sure that we get back to that, that uh, prestigious stage. All right. Well, I'm glad to see it. I'm glad to hear it. All right, y'all heard it here first. This was Coach Mason's interview. But Elgin, let's have a great year with track. Hey guys, hi Maroons. I just want to give you an update how a great start we're off on through the wrestling team. We're led by our senior leaders, Chris Santana, Michael Guru, and the girls had an historic night in our field house. They had our first girls duel where they beat East Aurora and they won six out of seven matches. Uh, you can always follow our results at the Elgin Wrestle uh, on Twitter. And we'll later on over Christmas break, we have a big home duel tournament. So please come check us out and thank you for your support. Bye. Hi, I'm Rebecca Marina. Hi, I'm Samantha. I want to wish you a happy new year and happy holidays. And if you like our YouTube channel, be sure to like and subscribe down below. Well, that's it for this week. Thank you so much for tuning in and make sure to come back next time.